Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today, I have for you um, some of the fall collection from Chanel. Now, I haven't really tried any Chanel uh, makeup per se. I have tried some of the lip products, but I've never tried an eyeshadow quad, and so I thought I would go over that with you today. I bought the Chanel um, 360 Tour Condor Provo Provocation. Provocation. So this is what it looks like. It came in two different shades, but I just decided to buy one. It comes in a beautiful package like this. And it also comes with an eye card on how to do your makeup. So that's good. It has two different looks. So let's, I'm glad that they do that. It'll give me an idea of how to use that. But let's go ahead and look inside. This is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? And then this is what the inside looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? I like this because it's not as red as the other one. So let's go ahead and swatch these. Oh, they're so smooth. This is for the fall collection, so. Oh, look at how pretty those are. Isn't that pretty? So let me read to you what it says. Um, Lucia Pica did this collection and she said it's an eyeshadow palette features a vibrant pigment rich formula in four tones inspired by threads of Chanel tweed with a spectrum of shade combination and finishes that range from matte to satin to shimmer for endless eye makeup looks. And they're easy to wear offers endless possibility with two medium tones to color and contour, a deep shade to intensify, and a light shade to highlight. Pure long-lasting pigments ensure an intense eye color effect while the soft, smooth texture allows for effortless application. And it says each color may be used on its own or blended for a more intense look. So I did get that. They sent over a sample of their eye cream, so I already went ahead and put this on as my base so let's go ahead oh let me show you what else i got i got the stylo waterproof in the color 955 romance this is part of the fall collection as well i try to get something that i don't already have and so this is what the pencil looks like let's go ahead and swatch this i like that it's a waterproof pencil and let's do that right here Oh, that'll go beautifully with this look, don't you think? And I don't have anything like that, so I'm I'm interested in trying that out. Now, the other two things I got were two lip products, the Rouge Cuckoo Cuckoo. <laughs> Sorry. My coffee machine is broken and I'm dying. <laughs> okay. The Rouge Cocoa Flash and I have them in the colors 132 flushed and 134 lust so let's see this is the 132 flushed it comes like this and it's got that kind of clear kind of top and this is what it looks like oh that's pretty let's try this right here oh it feels amazing oh I can't wait to use that and then the other color I got was Lust in 134. This is my kind of lip. Moisturizing. And this is what that color looks like, more of a fall color. And let's swatch that right here. Ooh, that's pretty too. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go into, let's see, this color right here. Does it see what color it is? It's the medium. It just says clear, medium, and dark. And I'm gonna go into that and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Let me bring you in a little closer. Okay, my, the eye, ooh, ooh. I was just gonna say the um, eye primer left my little, little tacky. I can feel it drag. Maybe I should have powder over it. We'll just blend that until it blends out.
like I said in my other video about the um, Charlotte Tilbury, I'm not really a red wearer, but this one is coming off a little more pink than red. So, hopefully I can wear this one more. Okay, I probably shouldn't have put eye primer on because it's really tacky. Or I should have put um, powder on. I feel like it's grabbing, but I think that's because of the primer. See, I feel like it's darker right there than right there. Now, I don't know if it's the eye primer or if it's the eyeshadow, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to do this again, maybe with a different eye primer, just to see, because it, right now, doesn't blend that well. It's looking better. Let me get a different brush and blend that out. Just getting a clean brush. Oh, that looks better. Okay, let me get a smaller brush. I'm gonna go into this deeper shade right here, and I'm gonna take that into the outer portion of my lid, and I'm just gonna kind of pat that on, bring it up just a tad. I like this brown shade, it's pretty. I think it balances the red or pink beautifully. So I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go back in with the clean brush and I'm gonna, or actually the first brush, and I'm gonna kind of blend that out. Make sure there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going back in with the same brush and I'm gonna go into this deeper medium shade and I'm gonna bring that right on top of the brown and see if I can kind of layer that. Looks kind of like a purple. Put that right over the brown just to layer it a bit. Then go back in with my brush and blend that out. What do you guys think so far? Okay, I'm going back in with a clean brush now. And I'm gonna go into this light shade and I'm gonna put that on my lid. Ooh, that's pretty. Whatever is left, just put on the highest point of my eyebrows. Then going back in with my brush and blending that all out. What do you guys think? Now it's looking more red, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, that's it for the eyes right now. Keep, I just wanna keep blending it out. I think I just need to get better at being, using reds, since that is the color for fall. But let's go ahead with the Stylo Waterproof. Stylo U Waterproof. Stylo Waterproof, the long lasting eye color in Romance. It's 9.55. Well, you know what I wanted to do? Let's go ahead and do the lower lid. I'm gonna go into this darker color right here and I'm just gonna do the outer third of my eye. Then I'm gonna take this waterproof eyeliner and I'm just gonna tight line 
Let's do the lower lash line first so I get a kind of an idea of what that. Oh, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna put it on my upper lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna go tight line my waterline. And they did send as a sample the Chanel mascara. So I will go ahead and try that. It comes in a little tube like this. <gasps> oh, the eyeliner broke. Oh, okay, I tight line my waterline. My upper waterline, now I'm going to use this Chanel Le Vol Volume Revolution de Chanel Mascara in 10 Noir. I've never tried a Chanel mascara before. Ooh. This is what the brush looks like. Can you see that? It doesn't even look like a brush. It looks like it's packed in there. Huh! Like it's not fully extended. Well, let's go ahead and try this. It feels clumpy. I feel like the wand is not fully, like it got mashed on production and never like released. Let me see if I can do this. Ooh, look at the cap is all gunky already. Look at that. That can't be good. Ugh, let's see. I feel like this is already old. How can that be? I just opened it for the first time. I don't think I like this mascara. Have any of you guys tried this mascara before? Let me know. Okay, I don't like it. I'm throwing it out. Something's wrong with it. Not good. Not good for a first impression. Okay, so there's my eyes. I already did my face. So let's go ahead and try these on the two lips. I have the 132 flushed and 134 lust. Let's go ahead and try the flushed first. That's this one right here. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love. Mm, that feels so good. Oh, let me zoom you out a little bit. That color looks so good with this eye look. Oh. Mm -mm. Now I want more of these. That feels so moisturizing. So this is 132 flushed. Okay, let's try 134. Okay, now here's the darker one, 134 Lust. And this is what that color looks like. Ooh, cocoa. Ooh, that's a great fall color. So that's 134 Lust. This 134 I think is gonna be a great color for fall and I love this formula. It's very moisturizing. I have a feeling I'm gonna start getting more of these. So let's go through the products. Okay, so this eye cream, I'm gonna to have to try it again because I felt like it made my makeup skip. It looks better now once it's had time to settle in. But I don't know if I need to just put this on and then um, put powder over it because I did wait a little bit before I put my makeup on so I don't know so this is jury's out this um 362 or candura provocation this is really pretty this is not a color I would normally go for but I'm going to try wearing this in the fall I do like that it's a little more pink leaning than red compared to the Charlotte Tilbury but you know, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Try wearing this more often. This mascara is a huge fail. If this is just a one-off, which I'm guessing it is, let me know down in the comments below if you like the Chanel mascara or not. Okay, then the eyeliner. 
the 955 in romance it says it's waterproof i do like how it made it um gave me de a little definition on my lower lash line i really can't see it on my upper lash line i wonder if this is supposed to be for the water line but i'm excited to continue trying this and i don't think it makes me look like i have pink eye does it <laughs> And then last but not least, these two lips, the Rouge Coco Flash, these two are a huge hit. I especially like the lighter one, the 132 Flushed. I like that one more for every day. And then this 134 is gonna be great for the winter time. So there you have it. That is my Chanel Fall Collection. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Did you get anything? And then they just released more blushes. I've never tried a Chanel blush, but there's a couple there that I do want to try. What do you guys think? Should I try them or not? I don't know. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy this type of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.